It's mm-hmm. like you can have blue moon ice cream, but then mm-hmm. you can also have blue moon gift shop. You know, those are, you can register both trademarks uh, because one of them is distinctive for blue moon ice cream. And then Mm -hmm. you have blue moon gift shop. So, um, you know, using extra words um, like that, as that also increases your chances of being approved the first time. Well, when you look at, when you select a trademark, you have to think, I mean, so there are like a few things you have to think about. You have to make sure the trademark is good from the marketing perspective, that it's recognizable. So that's why it's good if uh, a trademark consists of two words. One is descriptive, like for example, trademark angel, one is descriptive trademark. Okay, yes, we sell uh, trademark registration or something that has to do with trademarks. The other word is unique, angel. So here you have uh, like a a good trademark that's registrable. and it's good from the marketing perspective. It's really easy to market it. But when the trademark is, yes, googly gook, like mm-hmm. it's really difficult to stand out because it will take you years before people start to recognize the name. So yes, it's a good idea. Uh, whether it makes it stronger, not necessarily, because if, uh, if the second word is descriptive, it's given really little weight, uh, but it's still given some weight. So yes, I mean, it's, it's, it makes uh, the chances stronger, but not significantly. Um, but it's still better than uh, one word, let's put it this way. Mm-hmm. But it, it's given like really little weight. So it's, it's better from the marketing um, perspective, from the SEO, right? So if yeah. you have a website, you want it to come up, yes, you have to think about that. That's really important. You can't disregard it uh, from the domain name perspective. Uh, but it, it, and also it does... for packaging, right? I mean, you're going yeah. to have to create some sort of packaging with this word on it someplace, or like, I mean, let's think of something super simple, like the target or Nike, you know, they have a specific logo and then a, a way to describe that Nike mm-hmm. target, one word, things like that. But like, that's what I mean. If you've got like a, um, X, Y, Z, L, T, trading, you know, and that's your name, then you're going to have to print that somewhere. And so you want it to look nice, or at least make some sort of sense or acronyms are still okay. You could have ABC conglomerates or, you know, whatever you're making up here, but like making sure that it's going to translate to package, because if you have your brand registry and your trademark, and yet you don't put that on your packaging, or it doesn't translate to a packaging, then no, you're not going to be able to report violations anyway. So making sure when you're choosing a trademark name that you're using something that is non-descriptive it's very unique it can be made up 